We are in the ICTAS Science Building at Virginia Tech. And this elevator has a neat little trick that I'd like to show you guys. Run four. It was down in the basement. This is the service elevator. There is also a passenger sized elevator. I'm going to go to one R. We have a creepy basement. <laughs> oh, and there the lights come on. Motion sensors. You know, that fan's kind of annoying. So let's go up. And this. is a small little access cabinet with independent service. The button went out for four. It stops at three, and you have to hold the button shut to make the door shut. And if you hold it now, the door still comes open. I thought that prevented the door from coming open, but I guess it's not. We'll go back down with one more. And you gotta hold the door button closed to get it started. I say I don't want to go to 1R. Push call cancel. The call is canceled. And we'll stop at 2. Let's go back up to 4 instead. Hold door close. Door does not open. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see if I can. Push every button. Voila, they're all off. <laughs> it looks like the door opens itself regardless of whether you're holding the door closed or not, if another floor isn't selected. Now if I push three and two and call cancel, all the buttons go out. Pretty neat, huh? I'm going to turn it right back on the regular service just in case somebody wants it. I'm just going to wait here a minute and see if it goes anywhere. What's down here? Chemicals. 
and nobody called it. By the way, I'm in this building after hours. I don't recommend you take a a building that is um I don't recommend you do this in a building that is being used. Both doors open. And up we go. You have to mash both of these door closes with your hand down here. And I'm going to turn this off, leave it the way I found it, and end the tour. Focus, there it goes, and that's it.